Welcome back everybody to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to start uh, making some more advanced stuff. Maybe work on the house a little bit more depending upon how our time goes. And uh, yeah, so I have spent um, quite a few more hours off camera just farming. Uh, got a bunch of wood, got a bunch of stone, got a bunch of silica, a bunch of sulfur, a bunch of the blue stuff, oxide. <laughs> uh, and so we have a pretty good supply of material going on so I've got um, I've got some carbon fibers uh, being made up in here <clears throat> and then um, those wait a second carbon fibers all right hold on deactivate yeah carbon fibers <clears throat> I actually wanted to do composites I think I made the wrong thing but nevertheless we have lots of lots of stuff so uh, yeah, we need iron ore. Do I have any iron ore? Oh, yeah, I got iron ore. Sure. Uh, so let's continue making some more of the composite paste. And, um, yeah, so as you can see, we, we have quite a bit of material here. We have 100 composites alone. And uh, I have carbon fibers there, but I also have quite a few in here as well. So those are, you know, some of the high-end materials that we need. All right, let's start off with... Um, uh, skills and our techs and talents and that sort of thing. So we have a solo talent. Um, I'm level 46, by the way. And I'm, I haven't taken any more talents because I was going to do that on camera with you guys. Uh, so what does this do? That's the animal health bars. I don't really like that. I think it's immersion breaking. Uh, we could do uh, increase our damage with knives if we wanted to. I'm not sure I do want to, actually. This gives us more yield mining and that sort of thing butchering yield what's this do XP gain mm. I don't know I mean I, I have no trouble leveling in this game I'm not sure I would want to put a point in that very way to wood ore and stones isn't too bad and that's building pieces this is decreased stamina that's food buffs last longer yeah that's a good one um Water, food, and oxygen consumption. <clears throat> well, reducing that would also be good. What's this? Chance to avoid a sprain. Okay. Um. Thing is, is once we hit 50, we, we don't get any more talent points. We continue getting tech points or skill points, but we, we no longer get talent points. So I think this is going to be worth doing. <clears throat> and this is going to be worth doing. And if we get one more point, I'll probably put that in into the second point of low maintenance. That'll especially help like when we're out in the desert and stuff like that. Okay, we have four talent points. We are continuing to work on husbandry. Um, so I'm going to put two more points into act natural. So predators won't attack our, our tames as likely to attack our tames. And then what is this here? No, I don't care about that. That don't care about that so much either. Rapid adoption. I still don't understand what that's for. <clears throat> so let's do long haul and maximum stamina. Yeah. And then if we only have one more point coming, well, we'll probably get a couple more points of regular talents. Uh, we'll max that out and we'll probably either put I mean five percent is not that big a deal actually in terms of movement speed uh, so we might put the rest in the long haul after we increase the endurance okay that takes care of our talent points as far as our tech points we have 11 of these and so let's go through and and pick some stuff that we want to do let's actually go to tier three and um, There is something in here that allows you to put an actual map marker down. I don't know if I want to do that, though. Oh, we wanted to maybe look into the Wayfarer stuff for desert travel. I think we probably should do that. It's going to burn five of our points, but... Um, well, actually, hold on, hold on a second. What does the full set of this give us? Yeah, see, the full set of this gives us plus 20 heat resistance. Um, what does this give us? Plus 30 heat resistance and less water consumption and desert exposure. So this is still better. 
but this is only 12 physical res resistance on the chest versus 16 physical resistance on the chest. Plus, this is going to help us also. We have health regeneration and stamina reg regeneration with the full set. So, yeah, I think I think we're going to go with the with the big stuff here, the end game stuff. And you know, it's still going to be good in the desert. Plus, you know, we'll ha we'll keep those cold bandages with us to to combat the heat stroke. But anyway, I was there's something in here that we could get that puts a map marker down. Oh, we wanted to look at the vapor condenser, didn't we? Yeah. So many things to do. We'll eventually be able to get everything. If we did the electric um, mining drill. Oh, by the way, is that what this is? Portable tire. Electric extractor. Yeah. Oh, we want to do the alteration bench, but I'm going to probably hold that off till more towards the end. Or, well, not towards the end, but later on. The solar panel. What's the matter with this? Oh, we're thirsty. Take a drink. Um, as always, you know, it's it's just a matter of what's the highest, next highest priority. So I think the armor is. We're going to learn all the armor so we can make the composite armor and we should have enough stuff for it. If we learn the solar panel, then we wouldn't have to use biofuel for, well, and we'd have to learn the electric uh, deep mining drill as well. Uh, but then we wouldn't have to use biofuel for our drills and they would just be indefinitely powered because we're at the point now where I'm starting to think that we need to put um, we need to put some some drills down on some deposits because I've completely mined out the entirety of Ring Lake and um, we're doing okay but at some point you know we're gonna start running out of stuff again so um, I wanted to do the composite arrow but that's gonna cost us two points as well Vapor condenser. Um, decisions, decisions, you guys. Decisions, decisions. How about we go ahead and do the vapor condenser, the electric drill, the solar panel. Okay, we still have four points. Um, we can't really do the water wheel because we're not... We're not near running water. And, oh, portable beacon. That's the thing that I was thinking about. Okay, so what this does is it does a map marker. That's pretty darned expensive, though, for a map marker. 20 composites, are you kidding me? And 10 electronics? Nah, we're not going to do that. So, um, we could do the alteration bench. Um, but there's also some building things. Oh, the hydroponic crop plot. We should do that. We are going to do that. Um, because then we can hook up water and power to it. And I don't have to keep it watered. Increase crop growth speed. Fully grown crops left too long will eventually wither. Oh, you still can't leave crops in that there. Okay. All right, let's go back to tier two and um, there is some building stuff like furniture and that sort of thing I want to get. Yeah, these things here. Chairs and beds, railings, um, trap door. We need the trap door. I'm not sure if I'm going to do an interior wood wall. Well, we might at some point, but not necessarily right now. I was wondering if I got a fire extinguisher, if I could use that. To, I, I mean, how effective would this would be for putting out forest fires so our forest doesn't burn down. Um, the kitchen storage bench is nice to have. And then, of course, you know, the jam and some of those foods would be good to have, too. Blood thinning, anti-parasitic, anti-poison. We could do the anti-poison. That would be useful to have. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this because I want to. I just like having these high-end arrows. This may not be the highest priority, but we're going to do it. 
So now we can make the composite arrows and the compound bow. Okay, so that has all been decided. And remember too, I've told you guys this before in case you forgot or don't know, we'll eventually be able to get in anything we want. We'll have unlimited points as time goes on. It's just the talents that are limited. So again, it's just kind of a prioritization thing. Very good. Okay, so I would like to get my kitchen set up over here. So let's start with that. Um, so we want to make the kitchen bench. And we have too much stuff in here. So let's take out some of that and maybe a couple of these platinum ingots and some of these gold ingots. And we'll just stick those over here for now. Actually, this can go in here. Let's grab these composite pastes and we'll put those in here. Alright. So for the kitchen bench, we need 20 copper nails. So let's do that. And what else? And refined wood. We got quite a bit of refined wood in here. So we'll put those in there grab the nails and let's make ourselves a kitchen bench all right and we also want to make the biofuel stove and ooh, we're gonna need steel for that okay so that means we're gonna have to make steel out of ingots because I want to save my iron ore for composite paste. Let's grab three of those. And let's grab some coal out of here. And make 20 steel blue. Okay, we'll take the 20 steel bloom. And we will throw this in here and move it in front of the pace so it does the steel next. And what we'll maybe even do is split half of this up and do something here just to speed the process up a little more. This takes a little bit longer than this. This is faster, but we'll get them both going. While we're waiting, <coughs> waiting for that, let's make some flooring. Um, I'm not gonna make that much flooring yet. Let's just do four pieces of that. Oh, we don't have room in here. Um, we'll take that out. Steel is done in that furnace, and one more to go in this furnace. That should be enough, though, I think, for us to make the bio stove. Yep, it is. Grab the biofuel. Okay, grab that. <clears throat> oh, for goodness sakes. Come on. Cracked. There you go. There you go. Okay, we'll grab these floors. Keep that floor stone. Makes sense because it's fireplace. <laughs> Must snap. Oh, right. We got to put the kitchen bench down first. So what we'll do is we'll put the kitchen bench right in front of the window where the water is. <laughs> Excuse me. Center. It's pretty close. And then. Alright, why isn't that snapping? It says it's colliding. Maybe we have to hold this out a little further. Pull out the 
this way, maybe right to there. There we go. And then when we make the other uh, cabinet thingamadoodle, uh, this thing, we'll put that right here. Good. Now we want to put a biofuel in here to power it. And then that's going to unlock some really high end recipes for us. There's also the marble stove. Yeah, the fruit, meat, and veggie pies are like the best ever. We can also do the crispy bacon in here, fish fillets, pumpkin bread soybean stir-fry. We're gonna need shrooms for that stuff though. We can make fish curry in here too. And roast veggies. You know, that means we don't even really need this now. Um, because it looks like the this can make everything that this can make. Roast veggies, fish curry, mushroom soup, sweet corn soup. Yeah. Yeah, we don't even need the pot belly stove anymore. I mean, I'll, I'll probably just keep it there for now. Anyway, but... Cool. Okay. Let's grab this stuff. Oh, actually, you know, what we could do, though... If we took the pot belly stove out, we could maybe put the fertilizer thing in here instead. And get it out of the middle of the floor. <clears throat> I like that idea. Let's get all of this out of here. Belly stove. Oh man, you're gonna burn down my waterfall view. <coughs> Is it just the, what, gonna be the one tree or are they gonna catch more on fire? So far, it looks like it's just that one tree. And hopefully, that's all it'll do. All right, let's put this in here. And we have a whole bunch of this in here, but here's what I'm gonna do, actually. I'm gonna pick this up. And I'm just gonna slide it over to here. And then put those back in there. Now, let's pick this up. I wish you could just put this outside, but it's got to be undercover. And then we'll put it here. I want it close by all the food stuff, though, because then, you know, if something spoils, I can just throw it right on in here. So it kind of makes sense from that standpoint. There. Very good. Okay, cool. So we got the we got our kitchen bench stuff in. Uh, this allows us to make pickled carrots, pastries, and antibiotic pills, uh, which I'd like to actually make some of those. The tonic. The nice thing about the pills is that the tonic removes the pneumonia, but then you you can just catch it right again. Whereas the pills actually prevent you from catching it for. Um, 600 seconds, so that's a pretty good deal. All right, what do we got going on in here? We got all of this stuff. All right, next thing um, I want to do is I want to make titanium arrows, but I do want to make. Let's make 10 composite arrows. No, let's make 20. And these only have a 5% break chance, so 20 of these arrows is going to last us for a very long time. Uh, we're going to need some more steel screws. So let's, um, let's make another stack of 100 of those. Put them in here. Alright, and then we'll make 20 of these. Plus they got the deadly three 
uh, projectile damage. So these are going to be some really good arrows for us. And then I'm going to just store those arrows in there. And switch to these. Okay, we got the best arrows in the game, guys. Guys and gals, it's fantastic. Now let's get the best bow in the game. It's the next thing we're going to do. Uh, so, for the compound bow, um, we need 18 composites and some aluminum. And here we go. Boom. And it's also got the nice durability buff on it. All right, cool, there we go. Love it. And we will keep our recurve in here as a backup bow. And we no longer need the long bow, so let's we'll get rid of that. Cool. Okay, we're accomplishing what I want to accomplish. We're getting there. Oh, we have a couple more of these in here. Actually, let's put those in here. I'm going to go out and get a bunch of flour so I can start making pastries, so we can start making pies. <coughs> We're not going to be able to make... Veg... No, we can make vegetable pie. Okay. We're not going to be able to make meat pie because of mushrooms. But we can make fruit pie and vegetable pie. So those two things, probably along with we'll continue to eat the crispy bacon just because of the experience gain in the 20 uh, and the 10% critical damage. Um... That's probably what we'll do. Fish curry still gives us a massive health boost, but then these do too, so it's going to be good food no matter what. No matter what. Okay, so let's see here. What is the next thing we want to do then? Um, maybe we'll make a solar panel. Oh, no, we want to make the armor. That's right. We want to make our armor. And I'm guessing we probably have to do that in here. No. We don't do that in there. Where do we make the armor? Do we make it in here? Alright, let's take a look at it. Tier 4. Oh, we need an electric textiles bench. Okay, so I guess we're not making the armor until we level again. Fair enough. Okay, so... We could make a hydroponic crop plot or a solar. No, yeah, let's yeah, let's make a solar panel. Um, the first thing I want to put a drill on is copper. So that's what we're the lowest on right now. And so we're going to need to make a solar panel and we're going to need to make the actual drill itself. Um, oh, and we could try the vapor condenser too. Does the vapor condenser attract predators? Tier 4, Vapor Condenser. Warning attracts creatures while active. Can be placed over enzyme geysers across the to condense vapor and exotics. Or condensed enzymes. Alright. I want to do that, but I can't, I can't say for sure that that's our highest priority right now. Uh, getting a steady supply of copper, I think, is more important. Okay, so that means... We need to make the electric deep mining drill, and we need to make a solar uh, a solar panel. So we need 30 and 15, 45 electronics. That's going to be the hardest thing um, to do, and it's, and we need because we need copper. <laughs> um, all right, so let's grab say like those three things of copper. I don't know. Do I have any more copper in here? I don't think I do. No. Nope, there's any more copper in there. Okay, so... There's no copper in there. There's no copper in here. Oh, I need to make some more bullets, too. So, let's do that right now before I forget. Well, okay, let's focus on this... <coughs> Excuse me, the solar panel first, because 
Um, we, we can't do the electric drill until we have the solar panel. And we're going to also swap out our lantern here. Okay, so we'll grab some more composites out of here. Maybe we'll get two of those. And then um, we're going to need 60 glass. That we're going to have to cook up. I should have... Uh, let's grab one stack of silica out of there, and I should have some more in here, too. Yeah, I got lots in here. Maybe we'll grab even four of those. And let's just put these in. We'll put three in here and one in here. And that'll give us a whole mess of glass. We need glass for other things too, so. Okay, so that's that'll take care of the glass. And we need to make 11 more electronics to finish this. <coughs> so, that's one. <laughs> Let's put the copper in there, and then uh, epoxy. We should... Well, do we have any epoxy in here? No, I think I have it all sitting in here. 33, that's all we got, huh? I'm going to have more than that. <clears throat> okay. Well, let's craft up as many electronics as we have epoxy for. Man, I could have sworn we had more epoxy. I put it in here. Um. Nope. I guess we must have used it while we're making some of these other things. Okay, so we're just waiting on... Um. Oh, wait. Yeah, we're just waiting on the glass. That's going to need aluminum, so let's grab a couple more stacks of aluminum for the drill itself. Okay, now we can actually make the drill. Oh, and that's going to take eight of our titanium ingots, too. That kind of sucks. <laughs> we're, like, really low on those. Man, I, I could have sworn I had more epoxy somewhere. Well, unless, like I said, we just we just used it up, I guess. Okay, there's 20 glass from there. 19 and 5. Is that enough? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. We need 10 more. 10 more pieces of glass. Alright, so we can also make epoxy from sulfur and tree sap because uh, I've used all of my bone epoxy up. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to craft a bunch of sticks in there. And we're going to grab some sulfur out of here. Maybe two stacks. And that gives us 26 of those. Oh, we have some more. I want to put the rest of these floor pieces in, too. This is just kind of a do-all-kinds-of-different-things episode. You'd, really, you'd think that um, forges should probably be on stone like the fire is. Um... So, I don't know if I'll put wood floors down here, but the rest of these areas, we can do wood floors. Okay. Now, we're going to throw these in here and start making tree sap like crazy. Yep, we go in there. Oh, refrigerator! Oh, right, 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 right. That's what I want to do. And look at that. We have everything we need for that. Um, I think this is a higher priority than even the 
the solar the solar thing. So let's let's get our fridge going right now. That's what I had meant to do, and I just spaced it off. Okay, that way, no more spoiling food. And you know what? I might actually not put that other bench in here, because this is a good spot right here for the fridge. Okay, and then we can hook up the second generator to that. Um, here, let's get the wiring tool. We'll go to there and then down to here. And then <clears throat> we'll have to start running this now. Well, this one's getting low on fuel, so we're going to need to replace that pretty soon. So we have. We have three things now that are using biofuel, and I only have one additional can. I want to have two cans per device, so we're going to need to make uh, two more of those. Yeah, see, we're starting to run out of iron now, too. Yeah, that's okay. That's the way it goes, man. We, we're advancing, and it's costing costed to do so. Okay, put those in there. Now, um, no, not that. This. <laughs> yeah, we, we've got too much stuff in here. So, we need to, we need to do one, two, three, Three, four, five, six more floors. I keep hitting the that instead of the this guy. Um, so that means we're gonna need 24 more copper nails, which I think I put in here, right? Yeah, let's just grab all of those copper nails. And this is just for the floors. We're also gonna um, need to do the ceilings. Actually, yeah. Well, hold on. We're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and six is seventeen. If I counted that right, and that's oh, that's the exact amount we can make. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna clear the stick sticks out of there because we need to make these. But then that's gonna also um. It's also going to, you know, clear a bunch of space in here for us, too, so that we can make more sticks. Okay, so this is now active, and we can now start putting stuff in here so it doesn't spoil. Uh, we don't have to worry about the animal fat. Um, I should have meat in here yet, so let's grab all of this meat. Well, actually, this doesn't prevent it from spoiling, it just slows it way down. That's what it actually does. I'll put the bacon in there too and then as we harvest stuff produce from the garden and you know make the dishes and stuff that we'll that we'll make we can uh, put that in the fridge beautiful we are making good progress here folks good progress okay let's take these 17 floors and uh, we're not going to put floors there that going okay we'll keep those stone uh, what I might do though is move these guys over right, let's just pull all of that out of there Can I pick this up, or do I have to disconnect the cable books? There we go. Yeah, 
center. And then we'll uh, put that back in, and I gotta rewire that now. I'm gonna dump all of the composites stuff in there and put two things of glass in there, but we're starting to run out of room in here now. So we'll put this uh, extra glass up in, the, in here for now. Okay, that should do us pretty good for, on glass for a while. We still have a decent amount of sticks, so we're going to turn all of these sticks into more tree sap. A bone powder too. Okay, now let's move this over. Get it right in the center, pull it out. There we go. So that way the forges are wholly on the stone. Now we could still put stone floors underneath them though, just so that it's uh, level. Can we? <coughs> I was just trying to think of something here for a minute. No. Nope, this is good. Yeah, let's just do it this way. That looks a little better, because then it's not down inside of the foundation. I'm a liking that. I am a liking that. Now, as we put our um, ceiling together here, I want to make sure it's all going the right direction. Unlike, I can't. Do I have to take that down first? Yeah, I do. Okay. When I put the original stone in, I, I didn't make sure they were all going the right direction. And I want to make sure I do that this time. So, I want all the arrows facing that direction. We can't... I don't think we can pull up any flooring pieces that have stuff on them. We're going to have to pick those up first. Do, uh, I'll do the rest of these off camera. Um, cause that's, I'm going to have to pick all that stuff up, take everything out, move it around. And yeah, that's definitely an off camera thing. Uh, but you get the basic idea. Okay. I'll put those stone floors back in there. I'm going to just store uh, these additional floors in here. Now, we need to make a couple of trap doors. I guess we do that in here. Oh, we need iron nails. Let's make ten of these. And I need to <coughs> also need to make some more ladders too, I think. <coughs> we have we should have one ladder. All somewhere. I think it's in here, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so let's grab that. Grab the trap doors and um, the nails out of here. Okay, 
let's also, oh yeah, let's put our bedroll back down. I'll eventually make the bed, oh, so we have a nice bed up here. We might even do the interior walls and make like a little bedroom or something. Oh, right, I was going to sleep. Campfire. Okay, now it's daytime. Um, I also wanted to change these to sto or to wood stairs. Um, have I learned wood stairs? That's going to be in tier two. Yeah, I have to learn the interior wood stairs, so we're going to have to unlock the walls, which I want to do anyways. And then the ramp, and then the stairs. Okay. So that'll come up later. Alright, now we're going to take the ladders. And we're going to... That doesn't, still doesn't snap onto there? Oh, uh, would it do it if I did it from down below? All right, do I have to have, do I have to have the hatch in first? We need to put one Probably two foundations in down here too to fill those gaps. We don't need to, but I want to just because it'll make it work better. Uh, we should probably check our crops too. Okay, let's get these replanted and then that way we can put all this produce in the fridge now and it won't go bad so quickly. I want to increase watermelon production for the fruit pies. So I think what we're going to do is do three crop plots on the watermelon. Um, and we'll do, we got lots of squash, so we'll just do one pumpkin and two squash instead of three squash. And uh, the soybeans there. We'll uh, we'll mess with those hydroponic plots um, in a future episode. We're not going to get to that today, of course. Okay, just water everything back up. And one of the things we'll be able to do with the hydroponics is we'll be able to pipe. At, you know, connect pipes directly to them, and then they'll stay watered all the time. And we don't have to do it with the canteen. And they're ready. Yeah, this is kind of like just a smorgasbord episode, guys. We're doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that, but we're making progress, and we're doing some cool things and advancing. And, yeah, it feels good. Okay, let's just stick this stuff in here for the nuts. And we need to check the critters. They have, yeah, they've got stuff to eat. Oh, and the Liberty Mutual version 3 got out. That's right. I'll just let them play out here for now. So back to this ladder thing. Um, severe winds. If I put this on, like that, and like that, now can I snap a ladder on there? Nope, it does not want to snap on here. Well, that's weird. Okay. What I think I'm going to need to do then to line this up perfectly 
is we might have to build down or just come out with a couple of foundations actually and then put the ladder on the foundations. Actually, yeah, that's what we'll do. That should make that real simple. Alright, and we have plenty of extra foundations too. Come down here. So we're gonna put a foundation there, one there, and one there. Put one there, and then we need uh, two more. To get that to come out. Hey, got it out. Come here. You bite me, I bite you. We need some fish anyways, so. Once we get pastry going, then we can make fish and chips, uh, which is pretty good too. I think it's I think it's better than fish curry, maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. Sometimes when you swim at these fish, they'll they actually turn around and swim towards you. <laughs> Making them easier to get. Emu, don't get caught up in the spikes. All right, we needed to grab two more foundations. Okay, so we want to put one there and one there. can't actually even get up there. All right, well here, can we now snap a ladder onto the foundation? Hmm. Maybe this isn't going to work after all. Okay. okay, here's what I'm thinking we need to do here. I think this is the wrong direction. I think that hatch should be on that end, and then we could bring a wall down here and then attach the ladder to the wall going up to the hatch. I think that's what's supposed to happen here. And if we're gonna do that, um, we're gonna need to do a couple other things too. We're gonna need to put a ramp coming up here because when I try and jump up here, the game kind of launches me up like that, but I can't actually get up there. So, uh, and I might, bring foundations across the front of here too, just more for aesthetics than for necessity. You dirty rat. Come here. Okay. Yeah, so I think that's what we'll do with that. There. You get back in your pen. Come here. Get in here. Okay. Okay, so let's grab those foundations. Let's grab two walls. Um, we're gonna need a ramp. Put some stuff back away that I'm hanging on to because it's just making me really heavy. Put that fish in there. Um, no, actually, let's grab the fish and the soybeans. And some fat. I will just make some more fish curry for now. Okay, so back down here. This foundation to snap there. That one can go there. And I'm short one foundation. That will 
to put there but I think what we'll do then is let's grab the stone ramp and put that there so we can actually get up here it probably look better as a stairwell as a stair okay. all right now what we want to do is pick the hatch up and pick that up we want to put a wall here and we want to put this here with the hatch only I want it to go the other way yeah like that and then we should be able to put a ladder here It still doesn't snap though, that's really odd. Okay, so we're facing due north and we're pretty close to right in the center of this. Alright, and then if we put the hatch in here, we should be able to go up this way. On the ladder climb up it's kind of slow climbing up here but then we can just I guess we just clip through the thing there okay that seems to work that seems to work so let's do the same thing on this side um yeah we'll just put a wall here I was gonna I was thinking about maybe Leave, making that a doorway so we could get through it, but I don't, I don't think we have any reason to get through it. Hatch and go. Nope. Oh man, is this going to give me a hassle again? Let's try it from over here. We need it. There we go. Okay, we need to get it in the back is the thing. Okay, and then the ladder. We'll face north, just back it up a little bit until it's right about there. And put the hatch in. I expect that hatch to be solid, but it's not. And then up and over. Okay, so the only thing, I, I want to put one more foundation in the middle there and one ramp. And then we've got that all set up except for rails, which we'll do later. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, so we need some iron nails to do a ramp. We're actually going to need... No, 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 no. We don't want to make that many. Um, we're going to need some more nails for another foundation too. So let's maybe make 20 of those. The foundation... There we go. And the ramp can go here. I want it to be a stairway. Okay. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Fantastic. Let's get on up here. I have some more trim work and stuff I want to do along the outside of the house too, but again, that will happen later on. All right, you guys. Well, we probably need to wrap up this episode here. We've made really good progress, um, though, in this episode. Real fun. Did some updates on the house. <coughs> I'll take care of, you know, getting all of these ceilings updated to, to wood. And, um, oh, we need to reconnect our furnace. So... Let's um, 
that in there and then we probably want to bring it to about here I'm guessing and then down like that yeah, that should be good okay so that's reconnected and yeah now we, we are making really good progress I'm gonna go swap out the biofuel can in the first Jenny oh lights right right okay that's that's gonna be the neck well one of the next things we're gonna spend our points on when we level again uh, are lights so I want to get some lights in here uh, but let's go ahead and put that in there and you are already running for the refrigerator so yeah we will we'll, we'll do lights next in here and we have to work with the water pump and get some plumbing in and do the hydroponic crop plots so that's coming up and we need to also learn the electric textiles bench so that we can make the high-end armor so those are the next two things we're going to be shooting for as we continue on here in the playthrough but i'm gonna let you guys go here thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye